guys heard about the Daily Wire's version of Snow White? Nope. I have. Now, here's the real question. Is it more of the family-friendly fairy tale, or is it based off the Brothers Grimm fairy tale? Oh, from what I understand, it's more off the Brothers Grimm. Let's see. I'm just trying to find... I got the tabs, but I didn't I didn't set them up beforehand. So here we go. Got them open, not connected. That's what I was trying to say. All right, this is from Deadline. I actually I have I have two I have two articles open on it. We'll go with the deadline one or we could go with the the Microsoft one. Well, let's do the deadline. Uh, They're semi official news. All right. Okay, it says, this is, the Daily Wire is making a live action Snow White starring conservative YouTuber Brett Cooper. Watch the teaser. This is by Andreas Weissman from October 16th. They had to put conservative, huh? Of course. They always (laughs) got to make about politics. Now, by the way, I am not familiar with her. I know I'm all over YouTube all the time, but Daily Wire... Just not something I tune into. Nothing against them. I haven't really checked them Brett out all Cooper that much. Brett Cooper is often declared as right. the female, um, uh, the female. Wow, my brain's really drawn a blank. Are you trying to say name. Ben Shapiro? Ugh. There we you are. Funny she looks I told like you, Amber. I'm burned out. I am very burned out. <laughs> At first glance, like I thought it was Ziva like from uh, from uh, NCIS. Oh, I could see that actually. Yeah, just at first glance, I'm like, oh yeah, that's not her. Can she but, actually uh, act? I guess she she started off as an actress, so we will see. I know nothing about her YouTube channel. Her uh, they they say she's conservative here. However, uh, mainstream news calls people conservative who are actually moderates and leftists because they don't agree with weird. I think conservative is, according to mainstream media, like eighty five percent of the United States of America at this point. Yeah, yeah but it's she's like a catch all like term for who, anyone who's not a far leftist. Amongst other terms. But yeah, I think she's it, an actual it, conservative. Yeah. But but what it comes down to is what Maji asked. Can she act? Oh, well, I mean, I, me some people are saying because she, of her involvement in politics, uh, there's a stigma and she shouldn't do it. But I knew nothing about it beforehand, so it doesn't affect me none. All right, it says conservative media company Daily Wire is making its own live action adaption of the Brothers Grimm fairy tale Snow White called Snow White and the Evil Queen. The film is set to release in 2024, will be the first feature length production for the company's kids entertainment platform called Bent Key, and will star conservative YouTuber Brett Cooper, host of the platform show The Comment Section. The Daily Wire today revealed a teaser for the movie, which opens with a melody voiced by Cooper. Okay, so we know she can sing. And written by Jeremy Boring in the pan through the forest to reveal Cooper's Snow White. And if this is it, let me go full screen on that. Okay. Once upon a time. Can you all hear that okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can fucking hear that auto tune. In time, a prince would come. An apple. Once upon a time, but now that time is gone. <laughs> Not a very flattering pose. <laughs> yes, not. And there's that damn logo. Do you? What do you think? Was this put together with a little bit of haste because it yes. has? No. Yes. I don't think so. Yes. Yes, it was. You just don't like the logo. Are you kidding me? Holy fuck! What the fuck is going on? I'm not no, I don't like the well. I don't like the logo. The people in the comment section don't like the font, and Billy's just Billy. Billy's on a whole other ball game. They, yeah, he actually like has a different avatar. Because <laughs> I'm on my phone right now. <clears throat> is isn't that the one that you use in Gilded? Yes, but this is the phone. <clears throat> right now. 
Oh, Evelyn says the the uh, uh, logo is bad. Hey, Tim Allen. Hey, Ev. Also, what the fuck is that title? <laughs> Snow White and the Evil Queen. Are we are we gonna, not going to have the Seven Dwarves? They're going to pull the same shit as Disney. I think the Seven Dwarves are Disney. Fine, call it Snow White and the Seven Midgets. Well, there, what Tim said. See, Tim, he can speak far more clearly than I can. Tim <laughs> got a full brain, and I got like twenty five percent of a brain. Yeah. <laughs> You have you have a brain. Oh, I'm jealous. Give it another week. There might not be one. <laughs> yeah. And Tim Allen says yes. Very hasty. There we go. Double your Billy. Double your ball sack. Double the echo. Billception. <laughs> he 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 caused a glitch in the. Uh, main nah, I there. just forgot to mute the. Computer mic. You know, you know Evely, I've been thinking that. Evely Music says, what is a bent key good for? I, what, I wonder why they picked that as their uh, as their uh, trademark. Bent key productions. It, it is kind of weird. Never mind. I ain't going to make a joke. I, I got <laughs> I to be honest. I really have no interest in this. This just is so spiteful. I mean, as much as we all are rolling our eyes about the uh, S Snow White and the whatever, the, whatever you want to call the Disney remake. Seven magical friends of... <laughs> the seven non-midgets. No, hold up. The six <laughs> non-midgets and one normal person. Or one so the woke in the seven what's. Yeah. My, the point is... And the this seven ties days. The Sef Snow White and the Seven Vase. That's what we're calling it now. So this just is a complete response to the Snow White and Seven Vase. And this is the big problem with go between anti-woke and non-woke. I feel Daywire is trying to be anti-woke, which doesn't... It's like, no, no. I, I, I want a good story. I want something original, new. I don't want spite. I don't want salt. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. How many Snow Whites have been done? There have been several. I can think of Snow White, the Hutzman. I can think of a couple of that were done on TV. I mean, it's been done countless well, Maggie, times. Well, you haven't seen the, the French versions and shit yet and the Italians. <laughs> no, I have. What was it's the... called Pan's Labyrinth. No, wait, wait, no. I don't think you... I don't, I'm trying to remember if it's Snow White. No, Beauty and the Beast. I saw a really, actually, really good Beauty and the Beast one that was like a French one recently made see mm -hmm. crow that's a good idea that's a good you know yeah. that'd be something slightly different like let's go in and just adapt more than just let's go do all the like a i don't want to say modern update of course but i say let's do a new animation series about the grim fairy tales or even just do the grim fairy tales nobody has actually successfully adapted the grim in a complete fairy form no in a complete form they always Family fi and beauty fi them. They don't actually do them the original way. I mean, I know there's a reason they the grim fairy tales are altered, but I I don't see why don't they just it would be interesting them. to see it uh somebody actually do a very faithful adaption to them. No, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna watch Brothers we Grimm when that baby comes out. However, you know what? I'm haven't we just like We've pretty much raped the fairy tales of all their soul at this point. We've played it over and over and over again. If we want to bring something back from the past to remind us of the old days, how about the American Tall Tales? How about you know Texas Pete and Paul Bunyan? We 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 never see those explored anymore. Big John. On, I know that like kind of one cool. western. I know Snow. That's where R. H. Snow got her inspirement was Texas lore. For her Watcher the Dam series. Someone cue up Johnny Cash's song about John Henry. <laughs> it's pretty epic. The Folsom <laughs> Prison, the Folsom Prison version, the Folsom Prison version. <laughs> the, 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 the studio's fine. The studio's fine, but the Folsom Prison one's the best one. Uh, Johnny Appleseed, too. We can do John Lappy. Yeah. Well, Guilty Gearhead said, asked, is it named after someone with the last name Bent Key? That, that, that's a possibility. That makes sense, actually. There's also fairy tales from other places than just Europe, too. 
I mean, we could expand the globe here. <laughs> I mean, shoot, how many, how many, okay. Just, just in your research for your book, Wrangler, how yeah. many different cultures did you end up researching for the gods? Oh, I lost count. Exactly. And I, I didn't even get them all either. I, I wanted to have, I wanted to have a few more because the idea there, that setting is all the pantheons exist and they're all, they're all there. So I wanted to have, you know, interactions from all of them. It's an entire society. And right, well, I was like, thing hey, say. you know what? There's got to be some like gods of from sub-Saharan African mythology. And we never see that anywhere. There must be some cool ideas there. So I went digging to try and find that. And all I could find was Egypt, 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 Egypt. I'm like, come on. I know there's a whole another world of mythology out there that we're just unfamiliar with. And I want to find and it. that's the point. Why aren't we looking for those kind of stories or making our own? But yet we're focused because on. Because Google didn't let me find them. Cinderella but we're focused the on the, uh... Europe. Cinderella's Hans Christian the slippers, Anderson right? and Grimm Brothers. That's it. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just slippers, overplayed. Right? Yes, Cinderella had the slippers, the glass slippers. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Sorry. I think I watched the, uh, an Italian one or whatever that. Here's the thing. Uh, what reason is for me to watch the Daily Wire version over? Well, the Tim Allen says it right here. One? Yeah. Tim Allen says, from what I have heard from the owner of Daily Wire, they want to create a content based old fashioned family values when it comes to their kids and programming. Pretty much, I, I heard a clip earlier as well. Where he's saying what Disney was, what they built themselves into, that's what and what they no longer are. That's what he wants his company to be able to become. Which, I mean, if their it own is version, of course. But. If it is a tribute to Walt Disney, then it makes sense why he's going with Snow White. Because yeah, Snow White, I believe was that the, was the first, right? Yes. Snow, or, or White, was it Snow White, because you had the Snow White movie coming out what next year. That's why they went with Snow White. I just really, it, it, it just feels real. Oh yeah, it's, it's also a jab too because that's that's what Jeremy Boring does. The razors, the chocolate. He has fun with this. Hold up. The question is, will really this be hit good? Them, if you really want to hit them, fucking do African folklore stories and shit. Hit them there. To say, you know what, fuckers? Y'all keep like race swapping the white ones. Here, let's actually do an African one. But Indian, that's what I was saying. Whatever. I was digging, looking for that stuff, and I couldn't even find it. I'm sure it's there. I just didn't know oh, where to look, there. probably. But all I could, all I would keep getting is more Egypt, more Egypt, more Egypt. I'm like, I wanted Sub-Saharan, and I found nothing. Now, I would be more than happy to be wrong. Maybe this is going to be fantastically made. And, of course, I want that to be the case, but just... Right now, I'm I've, I've kind of checked out with the Daily Wire. I never really checked in with them. Whenever whenever I see like a short clip with somebody from there, I might listen to them for a few minutes. But I mean, it's but kind I've of checked like, out on most it's direct political pundits at this rate. Well, they need to get rid of Matt Walsh. Yeah. That dumb fuck is uh, pushing away more people than he can bring in. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. He'll say something brilliant, and then all of a sudden he'll turn into old fuddy duddy and oh, video games are making children violent, like. The anime are corrupting the youth. You, if you saw all the stuff I played growing up my entire life, I played these crazy video games. I was playing the beat em ups. When's the last time I was actually in a fight? I can't even remember. So, I was playing you play the beat em ups to avoid the fights. I was playing GTA yep. at age four and five. What, uh, when's the last time I killed a hooker? You know, I was playing Twisted Metal. When's the last time I went shooting at ice cream trucks through the wall with Spectre because he's awesome? <laughs> Take that. For me, did that show actually we did get... that show come out and it was actually decent? I, I I I think it came out. I do not know if it was decent. I I didn't tune in. I don't know, but uh. What do you think? Yes, I do think there is a lot of jab involved in this, but do you think it's a worthwhile project for him to take on to start remaking these fairy tales in this style to say we want to do it right? We want to bring back the magic that the, the establishment has lost. 
there is a small handful of movies that you either, if you decide to take on, you have to do it 100% or they're cursed. Snow White, Wizard of Oz, and there's one more. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast, you're right. Those three, it sounds weird, but every time those three are done by, by anybody, if they're not done 100%, they, 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 they like destroy, <laughs> they destroy companies almost. Like I said. Oh, hi, Trippy. They'd have to. Hey, guys. The one that, that trailer was like just thrown there. I was staring at the something. screen and I'm like, something's different. Something's different about the screen. But oh. I'd have to see more. I don't know. It also sounded like she was heavily using auto tunes while singing. Whatever. That stuff I can't tell. I've never, I've never been able to pick up. I can't tell the difference. Little subtleties and stuff, I, I'm horrible with. I find lines. It not sounded like it was. Uh, Sound like she was singing in like a metallic tube or some shit. That could have just been the reverb for effect, but it might be auto tune. I have no idea. I am, I can't even carry a. <laughs> it tune doesn't sound good. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> sound, sounded fine to me. I can't tell. I'm tone deaf. So what do you, what do you expect? So trippy. What do you feel about the Daily Wire creating Bent Key and going on to release their own version of Snow White? Okay, the smile that, uh, what's your name, Brett Cooper has for Snow White, it's such a smug little smile that they have in the trailer. It's pretty <laughs> freaking obvious. Like, <laughs> tee hee hee, look what we're doing, tee hee hee. But is she going to be a good actor? <laughs> I mean, that remains to be seen. Mm, I mean, where it's, it is, that was her towards, background, so we'll it's see. It's geared towards children, though, right? Like, that's the whole idea of Bent Key. It's supposed to be for, like, younger, yeah. like, Toppers, uh, younger kids, but you gotta, so. you gotta, you gotta get adults in there too. You can't just have it just be one hundred percent towards kids. Yeah, you, you, you want something the family could bond with. Yeah, but the uh, point is that the production of a, something that's it could be a little like less. Like the kid, they're not going to make it like very highbrow. They're not going to do something for the adults. Right. They're doing it for their for kids, so they're going to be a little forgiving in what they write and how they behave and how they act. You know, I'm they not probably know about like the, the age rating of the story. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Tim Allen said, Jeremy Boring, the CEO of Daily Wire, according to Google, came up with the ben with Bent Key Productions. His name's so because Boring has been wearing a bent key around his neck for the past 28 years. I wonder what that means. There's probably, a, there's probably a big story behind that. 